And we are absolutely thrilled that you're here with us today. Today is a really good day for our community. This is actually kind of our announcement and our launch for the recruiting and hiring process for Fuyao Glass America's new manufacturing facility that we've heard so much about that's coming to Moraine. So what we're hoping to do today is to have you to learn a little bit more about Fuyao, the job opportunities, and then some details about how to apply for those positions. What's a little bit different about today, it's more about information sessions and the opportunity to learn more about this company that has selected Moraine as their headquarters for their U.S. operations. As we know, manufacturing has a rich and prosperous history throughout the Dayton region. It's a source of more than 600,000 jobs for Ohio workers, and manufacturing yields the highest annual payroll for any other industry sector in the state of Ohio at $36 billion. Ohio is ranked third in the entire nation in manufacturing employment. The opening of the Fuyao Glass America U.S. Corporate Headquarters facility is evidence that the Miami Valley is experiencing positive momentum, and we are here today to keep that momentum moving forward. As this is the first manufacturing facility of its kind in the U.S., Sinclair is partnering with the team from Ohio Means Jobs in Montgomery County to make sure that we understand their workforce needs. As we understand those workforce needs, we want to do everything we can, connect the people of our community to these jobs. That's what today is all about. So I thought I'd walk you through the agenda and what we're going to do and the resources available to you. First of all, when you arrived, I believe you all filled out a registration card. And uh, part of that is to see if we want to kind of have access to our computer rooms later today or after this session, we'll make sure that we have enough capacity. There's also an instruction sheet on the application process. And um, this sheet walks you through how to apply online through the Ohio Means Jobs website. And also, in case you don't have an account with Ohio Means Jobs, how to establish one. The third, I believe you also have a document. It's, it's a community resource guide. And this was created actually for um, you here today with listing many of our community partners that are working with us to make sure that they have different services that are available to you in preparing you for these jobs. I'd like to thank many of our resource partners for being with us here today. Goodwill, Easter Seals, the Dayton VA, and Catholic Social Services, just to mention a few. They have some tables, I think, that are located around the facility. Please get a chance and stop by and talk to them to see about their services if you get a chance. I also have one really important note. Parking is free today if you have parked in a Sinclair lot. If you parked under this building, the gate will be open for you to leave. If you have parked in any of the other Sinclair lots, we have just tell them you were at this event and there will be no charge. That's, not, that's a pretty good day in Dayton, downtown Dayton. Huh? No parking. Okay, now let's get on for our agenda and why you're all here. First, representatives um, from the Dayton Development Coalition and Montgomery County are going to give you a little about history and kind of how we got Fuyao to come to our, to our community. Next, Tom Thompson, who is the Human Resources Manager with Fuyao, will present information about the company, the job opportunities, the timing for and hiring of those positions, as well as a little bit about what Fuyao is looking for for their employees. Following Tom, Quindella Lynch from Ohio Means Jobs in Montgomery County is going to walk you through the application process. Fuyao is accepting applications only online, so we want to make sure that if we have any questions, that's why we're here today, we don't want to have any barriers to that process. What we'd like, if you could have lots of questions, I'm sure you all will, but if you could write those down on index cards that are on your table, and we're going to have microphones around as well. So we'll kind of hold all the questions to the end after the presentations, and we'll do our very best to answer those. I think you can probably appreciate, um, with an organization of this complexity and this size, we don't have all the answers right now. And so we will keep those, you know, 
try to continue to answer the questions that we do know, but we don't have all of the answers now because still decisions are being made. Um, I'd like to... Um, we also thought today, by the way, what would be very, very helpful, and I want to thank Montgomery County. While you're here with us, we kind of wanted to be that one stop. Um, if many of you don't have an online res resume, which is going to be a requirement for this process, there's going to be a workshop held in room 282 immediately following the Q&A that you can go there and uh, representatives from Montgomery County will help you work to build your resume online. Um, we also have opened up computer labs on the third floor at kind of the other end of the building, actually the workshops at, at that end as well, and said if you want to go ahead and apply online while you're here today, as long as you have an electronic copy of your resume, we will have the computer labs open um, and available to you. Again, we think what's really, really important, the application process, it's just opened today, um, and we think this is pretty exciting. Um, one of the things I think is important as we think about today, many times when we have companies from other parts of the country to move in, we know a lot about them, right? We know what their culture is. We know what their expectations are. But when you think about uh, Fuyao being a Chinese company with this first incredible investment in our community, we don't know a lot. We want to learn about them. And um, I had the privilege of actually visiting China and Shanghai to one of their manufacturing facilities this summer. And um, it, it was an incredible experience. Um, when they talk about their company values, their commitment to their people and continuing education, to investing in their people with training, that is all very real. You know, and you will hear a little bit about later about their chairman who started out on the production floor. Um, and so it's a really incredible organization, and we are so, so fortunate that they are here in this community. So now, I'd like to introduce uh, Dave Burroughs, a good friend of mine, Vice President of De Dayton Development Coalition. Dave was instrumental um, in bringing Fuyao to this community from an economic development perspective. So give Dave a big round of applause. Thank you. Well, very good morning to everyone. I don't like to stand behind podiums. Uh, it is a great day. I thank you all for being here. Uh, this is an opportunity that doesn't present itself very often, if ever. Uh, what we're talking about here with Fu Yao is the fourth largest Chinese investment in the history of the United States and the number one Chinese investment in, the, in Ohio. I say that because it, it's a big deal. Uh, this has a lot of press throughout the world, throughout our country, from Washington on down to our governor's office and into the local economy. And we have an opportunity here to grow with Fu Yao. Uh, this is a great company. This is an international company. You have an, a leader, a chairman of Fu Yao that sold shoes in the streets of China when he was little, that came from nothing that really sees the Dayton, Ohio region as an opportunity to continue to grow his company and grow employees and help people make better lives for themselves. And I hope you're all here to hear about Fu Yao and what the opportunity is for you. I will tell you in April of 2013, we got a call from Fu Yao that said, we're interested in coming into the United States and growing our, our footprint and specifically looking at the Dayton region. Over an eight to 12 month period, there were a lot of talks, a lot of site selections, and, and it all started with Fuya wanting to build a new facility, not buy a building, but build a new facility. But when we showed them the Moraine assembly plant and told them the story and the history behind there and the people in the Dayton region that worked there and worked throughout our community, they really gained a lot of excitement. And so a three-month project of building a new building, getting to that point became there's a good building, it's a good location with great people and great access to the market. So you move forward to January of this year when it was announced that they were going to buy that facility and move forward. Uh, there were a lot of talks, a lot of headaches, a lot of negotiations, but it all came down to Dayton, Ohio, 
and what Dayton is about. And Dayton is about these people in this room and the people throughout our community. We have a strong manufacturing background. I myself came from manufacturing. I'm not an economic development professional. I've just uh, fooled everyone into thinking that. Um, so a little bit about Fu Yao. You see all this glass up here. Fu Yao makes the best automotive glass in the world. They supply 60% of the glass throughout the Chinese market, which is upwards of 25 million cars annually. And they're a big supplier in the North American market as well. They're the number two glass supplier in the world with the top quality. And what you see here is glass that starts from sheets. And they make the sheets like these windows. Then they send them to facilities and form them, shape them, paint the antennas on there, paint the borders on there, do a lot of quality inspections. It's a long process. And what you're going to hear from the folks at Fuyao is what they're going to do here in Dayton and the opportunities that do arise. This project could not have come together without the help of the city of Moraine, Montgomery County, the state of Ohio, Jobs Ohio. It just would not have come together. It was a collaborative effort to get a large company to come to this region. And now what we have is we have Montgomery County. You're going to meet Sylvia Anderson here in a minute, stepping up to the table. Deb Norris and her team here at Sinclair Community College, along with the Fu Yao folks. There are some other partners like Goodwill, CareSource. You've got partners out there. Everyone wants to make this happen and make this work. We're here for you folks. We're here to support Fu Yao and help them get their building operational. They have a tight time frame. Uh, that's why there are a lot of these sessions coming up in the next couple weeks. Uh, I did have the opportunity to go to China a couple months ago with Deb Norris, uh, Rebecca over here from Fu Yao, and Tom Thompson, who you're getting ready to meet. They run first-class facilities, safe facilities. They take care of their employees, and the people love working for them. It reminds me of the automotive industry that used to be in this town that forgot where their good people were. So we're going to bring that back, and Fu Yao is going to help us do it. Uh, I, I can't thank you enough for being here. If any questions for me, uh, I, again, I'm at the Dayton Development Coalition. My line's always open. My contact information's on our website. I'll be over here. But anything we can do to help you and help Fu Yao, we are going to try to make that happen. So I thank all of you very much, again, for being here. I'd like to introduce Sylvia Anderson with the, uh, Ohio Means Jobs. And I like to say Ohio means job slash Montgomery County because that's where we're at and that's where we're growing. So, Sylvia, come on up. Thank you. Good morning. It truly is a good day. It is an honor for the men and women of Ohio means jobs, Montgomery County, to participate in the hiring of yet another new company with the opportunity to staff with many of our local residents. The partnership that's been developed between Montgomery County, Fuyao, and Sinclair is truly remarkable. This is a result of that, something different that you haven't seen before. I know the most important thing you all are interested in is how do I apply for the job? But we've made that very easy for you. It is online, available now. The positions went live this morning, where you can apply for them at your convenience. And you want to take a moment and get comfortable and make sure you complete the application fairly to yourself. Don't shortchange your skills and your experience. As always, the staff at the job bank, as you all uh, commonly refer to us, are available to assist you if you have any questions. You can call us or visit us during our op open hours. From our entire staff to all of you, we wish you good luck in meeting all of your workforce objectives. Have a great day. God bless. Tom, we haven't built you up too much, have we? 
Okay, now for the part that we've been waiting for. Tom Thompson is Human Resources Manager for Fuyao. He has a PowerPoint presentation to walk through to share some, I think, incredible information with you. Tom is no stranger to this community. He has deep roots in the Dayton region. He has experience in manufacturing, and he was the right guy for this job. He's been incredible to work with. Again, we value our partnership. And why don't you come up and tell everyone what they've been waiting to hear. Thank you. I appreciate that. How's everybody doing? Good? Ready to hear about Fuyao? Yeah. All right. We got a lot of great things to talk about today. A lot of exciting things happening. I'm going to bring you a little bit through the company, kind of introduce a few of the key people in the company uh, on what's going on, how we're going to achieve our goals here, which you can all be part of, which is really exciting. That's why I joined Fuyao. When I got the call asking how if I'd be interested, I saw it as an opportunity an opportunity to bring an organization from nothing to something, to bring back jobs into this community that needs it, that wants it, because there's tons of people like yourselves out there that want to do this, okay? And it's, it's just a fantastic opportunity, and I hope that you'll get interested because it's a fast-moving train, so you got to hop on that train and don't get off the train, okay? So let's go through it. Next slide. Oh, I'll get it. I remember I got all these gadgets up here that I got to play with. There we go. A little bit about our chairman, Chairman Chow. He, as Dave had talked about, is an individual that came from very basic lifestyles, okay? Was living on the streets, selling shoes, went to work for an automotive manufacturer in China after a number of years said, you know, I can do this, and I can do it pretty well. And that's what he did. He started that. And he started the Fuyao Group, okay, in a town, Fujian. And he built that up to the international business that we are today. And he's the one that has the vision to say, you know, we can do this in North America. We're doing it in Asia, we're doing it in Korea, in Japan, in Europe, in Russia, in Australia and down in South America, so why not in the United States? And thank goodness he picked our location as a spot to go, all right? So a little bit about the chairman, a little bit about our core values. As you can see up there, professionalism, humility, honesty, learning and innovation. These are all core values that the chairman lives by and everybody at the company lives by. You know, as Dave had talked about and as Deb had talked about, I had the pleasure of going to China and seeing the different areas. I, too, was in Shanghai and down at the uh, corporate headquarters where they have a number of manufacturing plants, plants that make the glass, plants that take that glass, form it into the windows, and do the shipping of it, okay? So just, just a fantastic operation the most friendliest people that I think I have met when I visited foreign countries. Just outstanding. I'm excited to work with this group. A little bit about uh, the chairman. All right, the founder of the Fuyao Glass Industry Group. He was born in 1946 in the Fujian province. Fuyao employs about 20,000 people worldwide. So we're not a small organization at all. We're new to the Americas, but we're not a small organization. In 2009, the chairman was awarded the Entrepreneur of the Year, okay, by um, Ernest & Young. So, I mean, that is pretty key. I mean, they're a well-renowned organization on evaluating businesses. So to receive that was an honor for the chairman. Now, the chairman has also got something that, uh, as Dave Burroughs had talked about, he's a philanthropist, okay? He donates tons of money, okay? And what he has done so far is over $1 billion of his own money he has donated to the people in China. Okay. And I know that commitment is to do good work here in the United States also. And we are going to do good work. We're just not all about making glass. Although that's important, but we've got a community too. And we plan on being a part of that community also. So if you want to be part of that community, 
a part of that organization, we have right jobs for you. Okay? A little bit about some company highlights. Some of it you've already heard from some of the uh, previous folks. But uh, we're a leading manufacturer in the automotive glass industry. It's a privately held company. It's not held by China and the government. It's a privately held company and started in 1987. It is the largest automotive glass supplier with 65% of the market, and as well as 18% of the global automotive market. We are in China, in US now, Germany, Russia, Japan, South Korea, Australia, Brazil, and then other places. And I can't imagine he's just stopping here, okay? I just can't believe that. So in 2003, Fuyua Group set up its first presence in the United States, and that's in South Carolina with a group that will be taking automotive glass, okay, aftermarket. All right, so doing different things to it and selling it to organizations that come out and repair your windshield when your windshield gets hit with a, a rock or something, okay? That type of stuff, or some type of a replacement. You go to the auto dealership and you gotta replace a, a boon roof. That's kind of what uh, we provide when we do the aftermarket. All right, very good. Here's our company profile, a little bit of a picture of China and all the different locations where we have plants. These plants just aren't only doing what we're going to do here as in forming the glass like Dave had talked about, but also making the big sheets of glass to bring to those manufacturing facilities that will be taking it, cutting it, bending, grinding it, and putting the different type of uh, logos on it, and also the rear view uh, or the rear uh, defroster, antennas. When you take a look at your windshield in your car, there's a little bracket that you hang that... Uh, that uh, rear view mirror on. That's part of something that we call adding value to the window. So that's part of our value added operation, as well as the brackets for the back end of the uh, rear view uh, windshield wiper or back window wiper. It's not a windshield. So, you know, we'll be doing things like that at our facility also, besides forming the glass. Oops, a little bit. Uh, if you go back here, there's a picture of our headquarters, beautiful facility. Um, right on a coastal town, tropical, mountains outside of it. I mean, it's really a very beautiful place to visit. Like I said before, founded in 1987, major automotive glass supplier, 14 auto glass plants and six what we call float glass plants. Float glass plants are plants that, that take sand and the soda ash and the other chemicals and they melt it into glass. And it's in big, long sheets. And I'll show you the process in a little bit. But those are what we call folk glass pan plants. As you take a look at a car, you have windows all around. You got windows above you, you got windows to the side of you, back in front of you. We make all of that type. For some organizations, we are making glass for the whole car. Okay? Some organizations, we're making windshields. Our goal is to be able to have them as a preferred supplier to be able to make all their glass for all their, all their type of uh, vehicles that they have. And I'll show you in a little bit all the different types of auto suppliers we have. It's just not a couple, okay? It's just not a couple at all. So right now you see the rear window and they could be heated, laminated, uh, IR reflective, do lift gates on the sunroofs the tilting of the sunroofs, the stationary sunroofs, solar panels, windshields, obviously. We're also working on heads-up displays for the different types of windshields for some models. So that's pretty cool stuff. And then our door glasses. Door glass can either be tempered so that it's hardening process, can also be laminated, okay? And that, which is what we're gonna be doing at our facility, both of those, okay? Said to you, we have a little bit of uh, suppliers that we work with, okay? As you can see, there's quite a few on there, and a lot of them that you can recognize, okay? You probably own a car that's made by one of these auto suppliers. But you can see GM, Ford, Chrysler, Honda, Hyundai, uh, Toyota, Mercedes-Benz. Um, you've got, uh, where's some other nice ones that we have here? Um, Azuzu, Suzuki, Mazda, Volvo, uh, Bentley. Interesting, we do provide that for Bentleys. 
Not that we can afford one, but, you know, there's Bentleys, all right? Now, what's important to us, too, is being recognized as quality producers. And we have been. Because, really, that's who you want to buy your material from, right? You want to buy your material from places that are quality producers of our glass for the, uh, for the different automakers. That's really key. So, we have won numerous awards. As you can see, Excellent Supplier Award by General Motors, 2013, 12, 11, 8, 7. Outstanding Performance Recognition by Chrysler, VW, Excellent Supplier. And we want more. And we're going to get more. Our operation up in, uh, in Lake Orion, uh, Michigan, has received year after year valued supplier awards from the different uh, automotive manufacturers up there in the Detroit area. So we've got the quality. We've got the process. We've got the know-how. We need excellent people like you to help us with that. A little bit about how the process works, okay? Okay. I, I talked to you a little bit about our float glass plants, and I'll show you that process here shortly. But as you can see, we get our raw materials from the sand mines. It then goes to the float lines where they actually make the sheets of glass, and then they cut it, and then they ship it to locations like ours. All right? So if you take a look between the tool center and the float lines, draw a line there because then that means it's coming to us. This is where we're taking that process. Tool centers are what we refer to as making the molds for the windshields so that when we heat it on up, it forms into that mold and is the exact same each and every time based upon the type of automotive uh, car that we're making a, a glass for. Okay? And then it goes into the glass panel manufacturing, which is what our, we're going to be doing. We'll be assembling the different things. We'll be doing encapsulation. Encapsulation is a process in which we take and we, we put the molding around the sides and all around the different types of glass. When you think of a, a back quarter panel of a car, it doesn't move. I know they used to move, and I'm probably dating myself, you know, when you had it where they swiveled a bit, but many of them now, they're not. So they're molded, and they're fitting in right specifically, and they're permanently mounted in there. We've got an R&D center. That's, uh, that's right there at the corporate headquarters. This is one cool place. I've been in there. I took a tour of the facility. And they are developing things now that we won't see probably for another five years that automotive makers haven't seen yet and won't see for a little bit. But some really interesting and cool stuff, you know, that's innovative, that's forward thinking, kind of the values we hold, all right? So that, that's what this place is, and there's a picture of it. It is nationally acclaimed. It is, uh, as it says here, it is an established national level, level of innovation and enterprise in China. They have received special certification from the government that shows them with their excellence and their innovation. So really a fantastically cool place that, uh, you know, that you know, hopefully someday we'll have something here of that nature. Now, to be able to make that, you need to be recognized. You need to be certified, right? How many of you have worked for organizations that have been ISO certified? Okay. How many of you have been in that process of becoming ISO certified? Same with quality certification, the TS-16 949s. These are all things that we're going to be going through too. Because why? The automotive suppliers require it. And it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to be able to say... I make the quality product, and I've got the certification to prove it. So as you can see, we're going to be doing the ISO TS 16949. We're going to be doing the 14001 and the 1801s. And in Europe, we have certifications that we abide by. In Asia, we have certifications that we abide by. Brazil, Metro, certifications we abide by. And those are all items like listed here. I know you can't read them. But these are documents that we do have with special certifications, which the government say we're letting you produce for our vehicles that we make in these uh, countries. Okay? So that's very important, very important for us. A little bit about our footprint. I mentioned we're all over the place. And I'll kind of step down here so you can, you can see that a little bit. But as you can see, we've got them in the U.S., Lake Orion, Moraine, Mount Zion, 
A little bit about Mount Zion. Mount Zion was a facility that we purchased not too long ago that was from PPG. And it's in Mount Zion, Illinois, right by Decatur. And they are going to be making our glass. So we have a dedicated supplier of glass manufacturing for our facility. We are doing some things there to make the equipment modernized. We're going to have two lines there, and it's just going to be a fantastic uh, organization that's going to be part of our company. Okay. As you can see in Germany, out in Heilbronn, Russia was an organization that they just uh, staffed up last year to provide uh, support right next door to a Volkswagen facility. So you can see we're going to places where the, um, the automotive manufacturers need us. So we're not going to create ourselves in situations to which we're creating undue and unnecessary transportation where we don't need to. Okay? And then, of course, all the different ones in China, you know, that relate back to that slide that I showed you in the beginning of the picture of China. Okay? And it also kind of tells you, too, what do they do there? So when you see a T, the T stands for tempering, the hardening of the glass. The L for the lamination. Lamination is like in a windshield. God forbid there's an accident and your head hits the windshield, it kind of gives way, it doesn't break. That's, a, that's a, a film that's put in between two pieces of glass and the process for that. And then also E stands for encapsulation, in which we actually do that molding around the edges and it's the hardening process. We're going to be doing all of that here for original equipment manufacturing and then for some additional aftermarket type stuff. I mentioned about the facility in Russia. Here's a picture of it that was put in place just last year. It's got one million car sets capability this year. And it will also be increasing to three million car sets by 2018. So it's a valuable facility for us and for the VW organization. We've got what we call consolidation centers and they are worldwide. And what they do for us is they, meant they maximize value to the customers. They do some of the things like the value added. They also do engineering design, liaison design. They are also directly relating and, and doing business with the major suppliers, or the, or the major automotive suppliers, I should say. So, I mean, we've got people who are dedicated to like Honda, to like Ford, to GM to make sure that when we're developing a product for them, that it is the best and that we're answering their types of issues and questions with the product promptly. That's, that's one of our distinguishing factors that we feel is a very good quality for our organization. So as you can see, Detroit, up there in uh, uh, Auto Metal, North America, Russia, over in Korea, and in Heilbronn, Germany, as well as in Japan. So we're strategically located all around. A little bit about our facility that's up uh, in the Detroit area, really it's around Flint, Michigan. But they have been taking glass coming from Fuyao in China and doing different things with it and providing direct support to the, some of the major automotive manufacturers there in the Detroit area. So we've been in that business now for quite a while. They haven't been forming it and bending it and making glass, but they take that glass like a windshield and they'll do modifications to it based upon specifications. This is a picture of our Mount Zion facility, a nice aerial view, all right? It's about 1.4 million square feet. And what they do, if you take a look at the far right side, that's where they're actually melting the sand, adding the chemicals. It goes along that long, thin area there. That's the float line, and then it gets cut, and then it gets sorted, and then the bigger part is a lot of, uh, is a lot of warehousing area. This is that process that I referred to on float glass. As you can see up here in the upper left, what we call charging. That's where we're mixing all the components. Then it goes into the melting area with the big furnaces, actually melts it into the liquid glass, and then it gets flowed along underneath the floating area. And that floats out of, on a bed of molten tin. Okay? And it just stays right on it, and it goes through, and it's got optical sensors that's checking the quality all along and it goes through the coating area where maybe we put a special coating on it or a tinting process to it and then it goes to the uh, the annealing part uh, and then to the cutting part 
All right, and then it gets ready to be shipped to places like what we're going to have. Okay. This is what our headquarters building is going to look like. Okay, it's going to be located right there at our marine facility, right adjacent to the manufacturing facility. Where our plans are right now is this part right here to the right is going to be a cafeteria. And then the office structure will be over here on to the left. So that's just kind of a little bit about what you could be seeing here in the next year as it gets finalized. Now, some of the parts in which you're really interested in why you're here. We're going to be doing some hiring. We're going to be doing it in three phases. Those three phases are based upon how we get equipment into the facility. We're not going to be putting all the equipment in right away. We're going to be phasing it in. So our first phase, we're looking at bringing on board about 430 employees. That's both salaried and production, okay? It's just not all uh, one or the other, all right? So then we look at phase two, and that, that, those 430, excuse me, we're looking at being on board in the March time frame of next year, all right? Around, no, around November time frame is when we want to have about another 225 employees brought on board and ready to start making our second million pieces of glass. Our first million is back there with that 430. We're going to get real good at that. We're going to be excellent with that. And then we're going to bring more folks on. We're going to add more equipment. And we're then going to be producing more. When you see phase three, towards the end of 2016, that's when we'll have that additional approximately 200 plus, okay, additional employees joining us. And that's going to bring us up to producing 4 million sets of glass, okay? And then who knows from there, all right? We're going to be doing good things. We're going to be good. Our quality is going to be outstanding. Our production is going to be outstanding because we're going to have the best workers, okay? There's no doubt in my mind that's where we're going and that's where we're going to be. Now, what are the jobs that we're going to have, okay? That's what's important. I know you're all chomping at the bit with that. All right, we're going to have production associates. We're going to be doing quality. So we'll have quality associates. We're going to have material handling, you know, forklift drivers, uh, moving glass, loading trucks, okay, making the, bringing in raw materials, bringing in different components that we need to have, all right, so storing that, and also assembly and fabrication. All right, the actual making of the windows, forming them in the different types of lines that we're going to be doing. We will also have skilled trades, multi-skilled trades, okay, in maintenance, electrical, and tool and die, okay. These are primarily what you're going to be seeing in our ad when we place the ad. A little bit about our hiring process, okay. Uh, this hiring process is, is a process, all right, and it's designed this way because we want the best, okay? You are the best. We want you to make it through this process. So we're starting today with our community meetings. That's key. We're making the awareness. We're letting you know. We're opening up the application process. On Sunday, you'll see an ad in the Dayton Daily News. That ad's going to talk about those jobs. It's going to talk about how you can go about applying, specifically for those individuals who don't make it to these community meetings. So we want to make sure we, we reach out to everybody. We will be doing some standardized pre-testing. We will be conducting one-on-one -on -one interviews. We'll also then, after the interviews, for those that we're going to select off the first group, is we're going to then be doing background checks. We'll be doing hair follicle drug screens. Everybody will be going through that. And then we'll also have a pre-employment physical. Okay? So it's a process. It's a process that everybody can get through. No problem at all. Here are some of the things that we're looking for, okay, in our production employees, in all of our employees. It's what they would look for in me, okay? It's what I look for in each and every one of you, all right? Teamwork. We're a team. We're going to be working close. Many of you have worked in manufacturing facilities before. You know that you spend a lot of your time with your coworkers. All right? So we need to be able to do that. We need to be able to do that effectively. We need to be able to do that so that we can have a good work environment. All right? A desire to contribute into the growth of the organization. 
why become part of an organization if you're not looking for it to succeed and for you to succeed, right? I mean, it, 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 it's about two groups. It's about the company and it's also about you. We want you to succeed as well. So we'll have programs in place that will help you to succeed, to help you grow, to move into those different level positions for higher pay or maybe moving into salary or maybe an opportunity to go to another location somewhere. Our goal is to make get you trained and get you trained very, very well, okay? And that goes to the ability and the willingness to learn. You got to have that. This is new to this area. It's new to me, okay? I'll be honest with you. I saw it when I went to China. I worked at a competitor of Fuyao before coming to Fuyao. So I know, you know, a little bit about the process. And it's a constant learning process. Each and every day you learn. So we got to have that ability to do that. You got to be flexible, okay? Flexibility means you're not tied to just one job. You're going to be doing different things throughout the facility, okay? You'll be helping different groups. You'll be on teams. You'll be doing what your job is, but you'll be doing other things too. So having that flexibility is key. That's what we want. We need you to be able to understand, you know, manuals, to be able to do some basic math, all right? We're doing some measuring, basically, especially on some of the jobs that people will be doing, okay? So those are key things that we need to do. And then reliability. Got to come to work, okay? I'm sure many of you have been in places to where you wonder, why am I now being asked to go on over and do this job? Well, a lot of times it's because somebody wouldn't make, couldn't make it into work, okay? And there's varying reasons for that. It's not always because somebody just didn't want to come into work today. There's legitimate reasons. But we need that. We need people to be at work each and every day so that we can make the product the way we need to make the product and create a work environment for you that is a good work environment. And then, of course, our accountability for our results. we got to own our product. You know, we need to catch the bad things. We need to stop the process when the bad things are there. Okay? We're accountable for it. So people with accountability is really what we need. So as you sit back and you think, am I right for Fu Yao? Think about some of these things. How do you fit in there? I bet you you all fit in there. You do. I know you do. You're here today expressing an interest. And this is not new. These are a lot of things that you see in organizations that you've worked for or that you currently work for. Okay? All righty. Let's see if I can get this thing to... I guess I got to be over here. Oh, there we go. All right. A little bit about our culture. Okay? Quality products. Quality is number one, all right? Safety is ultimate quality, is ultimate, uh, you know, responsibility for everybody and is really a, a big thing for us. As I visited through the plants in China, I could not see any areas because I was looking, all right? I've been in manufacturing too. I was looking to see how are their standards on safety. And I tell you, folks, it is, it is excellent, excellent. And that's what we're going to have here also. Cutting edge on R&D. You saw the research and development facility. I told you about how things they're making and working on that are light years ahead of what we see right now. Continuous improvement, customer service, family values. That's really key. I value it. I know you value it. The chairman values it. Chairman values that to the point where he gave $1 billion of his money, not the company's money, his money, to charities. Right? We're going to be active in this community. So I hope if you join us, you're going to be, want to be active in the community because we're going to do that. Investment in people. We're going to grow people. We're going to train people. We're going to create opportunities for them that uh, not just what you come in to start work for, but to be able to be, take on jobs that have got increased responsibility, increased uh, capabilities and technical skills. We're going to help with that. This is a ground floor opportunity in the United States. Where else can you join an organization that starts as nothing, okay, and bring it up to an organization that's going to be making a quality product? How many of you have ever done that before? Handful of folks, all right? I've never done it before. That's why I'm excited. That's why I'm doing this, okay? And that's what I hope that you feel like, what an opportunity. We're creating our culture here, a culture that we want to have here at our facility. 
and we're going to have the headquarters here in Moraine. Right? I don't know what else I could say. That's an excellent opportunity. That ends my presentation. All right, we'll have opportunities to be able to talk a little bit later on. But I just wanted to give you a little bit about our company, kind of instill upon you what it is that we're all about, why we're excited to see all of you here. Because this is an opportunity that, that, that comes along once in a lifetime. So thank you all for being here, for talking and for listening and for showing the interest in our company. And I also want to do a quick shout out to, to Sinclair and to Dave Burroughs with, uh, with the Dayton Development Coalition and to the Ohio Means Jobs Group for helping us with this process. It's truly outstanding. It's been a pleasure working with everybody. So I'm going to turn it back over to you, Deb. All right. So you glad you showed up today? Okay. So thank you, Tom. Um, I think you guys see why we're excited about this, right? And the opportunities and the investment. So now we know about these job opportunities. What I'd like, you probably have some questions because what we thought would be very, very helpful is to have some Q&A. So there are our index cards on your table. Jot down any of the questions and just hold them up and we'll have our team come around and pick them up. And then we'll go through those in just a few moments. So now what's the use of understanding all of these jobs and being really excited about this organization if we can't figure out how to actually apply? So what we thought was very important is that we have Quindella Lynch from Ohio Means Jobs, Montgomery County, and she's just going to take a couple of minutes to walk you through the process to make sure that we're all clear about that because, again, we don't want to have any barriers here to get into this incredible organization. So we're going to take just a couple minutes with Quindella, and then we're going to have some Q&A. From that point, as I said earlier, we're going to have computer labs open up if you want to go ahead and apply online with your electronic resume or attend the resume class up in room 282. So with that, Quindella. Thank you, Deb. Isn't this a great company? Don't you want to apply? All right. We're going to get you started. First of all, you will go to ohiomeansjobs.com to do the application. Now, if you're not registered on that site, you have to create an account. If you have your form, you can kind of follow through what I'm saying. But first of all, you're going to create an account. But you have to have an electronic version of your resume. So if you don't have one at this time, be sure that you can create one. As they say, we have opportunities at the Job Center, Ohio Meets Job, Montgomery County, that someone can assist you with the resume process. So you can follow the don't have an account process. Once you do that, you can go to search jobs. When you go to search the jobs, in the keyword, you're going to put Fuyao, OMJ, slash MC. That will give you the list of all the open opportunities at this point from Fuya Glass American Incorporated. Once you do that, you can click on the opportunity that you are listed for, you are interested in. Once you click that opportunity, the position will show up with the job description information. You can go through, review the information. If this is the position that you're interested on, we've made an update and it's a change from what you guys have, but on the back, you'll click apply and then apply here. It'll take you to the position and then at the bottom, you can click uh, apply again. When you do that, you will have to register on that site to complete your application. So in order to complete your application, you'll have to register. If you have not ever registered on Ohio Means Job Montgomery County, you will have to register. If you have, you will be able to skip that process and then go on and do the application from there. So. Uh, that's all there is. If you follow the instructions, if you need any help, the Job Center, as Ms. Sylvia previously said, Ohio means John Montgomery County, the information is there. And if you need help, you can contact us or come down, and we will try to walk you through. Uh, hopefully, I've had a lot of people apply already, and so it's not hard. It's real easy. It may take you a little time, but be sure it's worth the time in order to get a great opportunity with this company. We will start pre-testing as early as 
uh, Saturday the 13th. So when you apply, you may get a notification within the next few days that we are starting pre-testing. So if you're interested in opportunity, please take the time, follow the instructions, get back with the Ohio Means Job Montgomery staff if you have help, if you need help, and we will do what we can to help you. Thank you. Are we ready for some Q&A? Thanks to all of you that have been submitting questions. Tom, do you want to come back up to the stage? And um, looks like we have some great questions. Rebecca, would you like to join us up here? <laughs> or some of your team from Fuyao? Okay. Hi. The first question that we have is, what does Fuyao mean? Hi, everyone. Um, and also, uh, my name is Rebecca O'Shaughnessy. I'm the Director of Legal Affairs for Fuyao. And um, I joined the company on April 1, uh, really for the same reason. Before that, I was, um, I was with uh, the, Depart uh, the state of Ohio doing economic development. So this is a truly great opportunity for me to, you know, before from the state's perspective, you give money. And then you said, OK, congratulations, company do great work and this is the opportunity for me now to be on the ground floor and do great work. So before I answer the question, I would like to sort of introduce our other folks from the Fuyao team, Mike and Spencer from the production side and Trina from our HR department. So thank you so much for being here as well. Um, so from Fuyao's meaning, um, really it goes way back, but Fu is part of uh, Fuzhou or Fuqing, which is where the company's from, and Yao really means shiny. So shiny glass, that's really what it is. And then throughout the years, it's sort of in a, in a way as an acronym. So you kind of combine it, so then it becomes Fu and Yao. So that's really what it means. Thank you. We also have a question as far as when you will uh, start hiring people, and it's a two-part question. From the time they apply, when should people start expecting to hear from you? That's an excellent question. And the process starts today by filling out the application. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to have a series of, of these type meetings, about eight in total. Uh, we'll be doing four here in the uh, in Montgomery County, and then we'll be going up to the Troy area, and over to Springfield, and down to Franklin, and to Wilmington, and doing the exact same thing. So we're going to be collecting those resumes during that time frame, Please. and then we're going to be taking a look at them. We'll be doing the pre-test assessment testing, and then we'll be starting and looking at doing one-on-one -on -one interviews in January. Okay. Perfect. And... May I apply for more than one job? Well, what, on the application, there'll be a pull-down menu in which you can identify, you know, what it is that you would like to do. Now, you know, you, you'll be filling out one application, all right? You pull down the menu, and let's say I want to be a forklift driver, all right? But if you've got skills elsewhere, we're just not going to look at you as a forklift driver, all right? We'll look and see what other skills you've got. That's why it's important for us to see the resume. And then we'll be able to take a look and see, well, where else could we use as an individual? So you won't need to fill out multiple applications. Okay. okay. Is Fuyao an equal opportunity employer, including yes. for disabled? We are an equal opportunity employer, by all means, okay? Uh, you know, and we take a look at everybody, all right? We're not going to be saying that one classification of people, you know, aren't, aren't going to be able to work. You know, of course, we got to take a look at what are the job requirements, too. So it all fits in. Okay. What would be the starting hourly wage for production and for the other positions? Okay, very good question. Right now, we've got a number of different types of positions in which we're going to be hiring for. And the salaries aren't finalized yet. All right, but by the time we sit down and we talk with you on one-on-one -on -one interviews, we'll be able to communicate that to you very directly and succinctly. Can you give any examples at this point of some of the standardized pre-testing 
yeah. questions, what that will focus on, what skills? I don't know the actual questions in each one of them. I've looked through them, but I can't remember them. But there are things like, you know, some basic math, basic reading comprehension, uh, taking a look at some inspection, expect, I'll get it out, inspection and measurements, okay? So it's questions based around that, all right? It's just uh, basically to design, you know, are people being able to do some basic math? Can they read the different manuals, the quality manuals, you know, the production instructions? It's things like that. Okay. okay. Is Fuyao going to be a union plant? We are looking at right now it being non-union, all right? Uh, that is our desire. And uh, we are putting programs in place that are positive relation employees are for the employees. So, you know, that is, uh, that's our desire. Are you planning on hiring any unskilled workers to learn skilled trades? We will have programs in place, okay? Not right off the bat, all right? But we will be looking at in our internal workforce to be able to move into skilled trades. So we will be partnering with Sinclair Community College on developing different types of programs that employees can go to start learning more about how to become a skilled trades and go through a process. Wonderful. Will you have managerial roles available like operations, productions, or quality managers? Yes, we do. We have a lot of managerial roles open. We have a lot of supervisory roles. We have a lot of specialist roles available. We're in the process of hiring now, but we have a lot of positions still to fill. So, I mean, yes, by all means, if you've got those and desires for that, please uh, apply to them online. We're more than happy to consider you. Similarly, do you have IT positions available? We have an IT group. It's almost all filled up. We got one IT specialist position left to, to fill. And are there any positions available like process analyst, risk market analyst, or office workers? Well, when we talk about office workers, we're talking about each of the individual departments, okay? And there are different positions that are open, like specialists, uh, some analysts, some program manager type positions. Uh, not necessarily clerical, all right? Not, not necessarily clerical work. Okay. What was the other part of that? I think I only answered half. Uh, process analyst, risk market analyst. Yeah, yeah. We have got a, a group that's a new product development. That's where that may fit in the most, okay. Um, but, you know, th those are the folks that are actually working with the different automotive uh, companies. You know, like a dedicated individual to Honda, a dedicated individual to Ford. Uh, so, I mean, there's different positions in there. Will there be any kind of international department at Fuyao? Well, th there will be some international. You know, we are going to have individuals coming over from China. All right, the, they will be there. Okay, it's their company, right? You know, so they're going to be there. They're going to be in some of the managerial positions, not all the managerial positions. Um, and th there'll be people coming in and out, you know, seeing how the operation's going. There may be some exchange type stuff to where they come and work a little bit in America, you know, alongside. So, yeah, there's going to be opportunities for that. Are people of all ages eligible to apply? Yes. People of all ages are eligible to apply as long as they're legal to work. <laughs> okay, this is an interesting question. Where did the cha chairman get the money to start the company? Well, that's a good question. I'm going to defer to Rebecca. <laughs> Um, so, Chairman really, um, his history is very interesting. I mean, in the um, late 1970s and the early 1980s, that's when China really opened its door to a lot of the free trade. A lot of opportunities there for people who are willing to take the chance, and the Chairman did. And that's when really he sort of grew from there. Um, the interesting story is he uh, worked at the Work, worked at a glass plant, but it was for water meters. So it was those cheap water meter glass plants. And he was a salesperson, purchasing person, did basically everything. And the factory was really going downhill. They were going to shut it down. So he was going to lose his job. 
So he said, okay, what I want to do is, he actually went to his family, friends, like the three Fs, right, for all the places where you can get money to start your first business. So he went to the family, his wife, I mean, dowry, I mean, he took all of that, bought the factory very, very cheaply from the government at that time, because at that time it was still government owned. And he did very, very well, really focused on quality, customer service, and cost. These are the, still the three very, very key components in Fuyao's success today. So he did it, he was doing really, really well in the water meter glass business. But I mean, it's a small business and the revenue really isn't that significant. So story has it that he was going down the mountain with his mother and he had a walking cane for his mom. And he bumped into a taxi, a taxi uh, that's parked there. And um, the taxi driver says, hey, watch it, you're touching my glass. It's really, really expensive. And he goes, well, how expensive is it? I don't really know the price. But for example, if water meter is 10 Chinese yuan, that thing was maybe 500. And he says, well, it's glass here, glass there. Why does it cost so much? Well, they say, well, it's imported. China doesn't make automotive glass. He says, well, if I can do this, I'm sure if I learn, I can make that. And the margin is significantly more. And the fact that China doesn't have it, I can make it happen. And that was his mission. And that's how he succeeded. So he started with one plan. He learned. He said, I will work. He, he, will, um, he will recruit people from other companies. He actually worked for other companies and say, I will do it for free if you teach me this one thing. So that's how he learned. And that's how he rise to the top. And um, that's why when he recruited me, he said, you know, um, learn, you know, this is the best investment you can make on yourself so that you can succeed in this organization and elsewhere, wherever you want to go, but you need to learn. You know, money is one thing, you can make it, and sure, you will be fairly compensated, but at the same time, learning is key, is the best investment. So really, that is ch the chairman's principle, and chairman has always said investing in the human capital, and that is what makes Fuyao unique. And that's what, from a Fuyao um, US team, we want the chairman to know that he's making the right decision in the United States. We can do it better than Fuyao's China plan. So, so on one hand, right, Fuyao is an organization, but as a Fuyao US team, you know, we're competitive. We want to say, hey, chairman, you've done a great job in China. This is an opportunity to showcase that you have made a great decision post-retirement. You should do it here. We have better workforce. We are educated and we are quality, quality workforce that cares about our products and our revenue. And, um, and one more thing I would like to add is the chairman has always said it isn't about, okay, if we are U.S., this year you made this much money, take all of them back to the headquarters. That has never been his principle for the subsidiaries in China. It has always been, okay, we'll take the necessary percentage back for the corporate function, but all, all the other revenues stay within the company to reinvest in technology, reinvest in the equipment, reinvest in its people. So he is about the growth of all these subsidiaries in its respective market. So that's what our goal is. We want to do well. We want to do better than his other plants and um, help him make this um, globalization vision come true. Wonderful. We want to thank you for taking the time to answer those questions. That was fantastic. We really appreciate it. Another big hand for the folks from Fuyao here to help us today. This, go ahead. I would just like to just add one thing to it. You know, um, you know, I thank the groups for doing it, for helping us here. But I want to thank all of you too for coming today, taking the time to learn about our organization gives us an opportunity to start that process to learn a little bit more about you. And we certainly hope that, you know, as we go through this process, we'll be seeing many more of your faces. And I really appreciate you taking the time today to learn more about us. Thank you all very, very much.